All right, we finally made it to Lake Tawakoni here in Texas. Um, it's about uh, an hour east of Dallas. So, if you want to go visit Dallas, it's not too bad of a drive, really. So, we've got a nice site. Let me turn this around. This is a 50 amp site. Now, I also mentioned that this is a thousand trails. So, and we back up to one of the fingers that come off the lake. This lake is huge. Oh, I just saw something really big jump out of the water. I bet you there's some really good fishing here. <laughs> wow. It's, it's late in the afternoon, uh, early evening, so this is about the time the fish would feed. And boy, I mean, they're jumping. Now, we actually got here yesterday, and uh, I was our uh, last night, and I walked Thomas last night. It was totally dark here, um, but I heard a loud noise in the water over here, <laughs> so made me wonder, mm, eastern Texas, I wonder if there's alligators here, so I looked it up, and sure enough, Alligators have been spotted in certain areas of this lake. Like I said, the lake is huge. So just be aware. But there's a lot of boating here. And uh, like I said, I imagine the fishing is good. It is quite cold right now. It's, uh, I think the current temperature is 56 degrees. Should go down to the 40s at night. So it's uh, a bit nippy. Today is March 18, so still winter, but I think spring is in a week or so. Or actually, spring is in a few days. So it's been a cold winter down in the south, but uh, we are moving north, northwest, and so we're starting to hit into some cold, cooler temperatures. But it overall, not a bad park. Kind of nice. We'll, we'll give you guys a tour of the place. There's a, there's a recreation building over there, and there is a pool over there. And uh, there's also a baseball field out that way as well across the water here. And then there is another pool. On the other side of the park. So, so far, uh, the park looks pretty good. Uh, like I said, this is a Thousand Trails Park. Um, so I would say this is probably one of the, one of the uh, better ones. Um, it is out of the way, but uh, very woodsy. I like that. I like when I want to go camping. That's why I like to see a lot of trees and stuff, water. Um, so there's a golf course nearby. Uh, there's a Walmart um, that was only about a 20 minute uh, drive to. So, so not, uh, not bad, not bad at all. So overall, pretty nice. All right. Come on, Thomas. Run. Well, okay. I noticed something swimming along. I don't know what it is. What is that? I guess it was a beaver or a croc. Not an alligator? I don't think it's a croc. A croc would have a different weight. Uh -oh.
know. I think you're right, it might be a beaver. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a nice pool, it's big, but it's not heated. So, and with 50 some odd degree weather, I am not swimming in it. There's a second hall with laundry and uh, an additional pool right there, kidney shaped pool. This is at the Opposite end of the park from from the other clubhouse. Got a pool table. Little air hockey. You see these common when you bars. Oh. Let's take a look at the laundry room. I don't know what's down there. Go uh, small laundry room. Four dryers, doll 75. And it looks like it takes the CSC app, the CSC Go. All right, that is uh, convenient. All right, so the one pool does have a hot tub right there. The other pool uh, doesn't, but that's okay. This pool, neither pool is heated though. So overall, this park's not bad. They could uh, throw a little money at it and upgrade some of the facilities. The pool table uh, is uh, in rather poor condition. Could use uh, new felt. Um, the park right now, and like I said, this is uh, March 19th. The uh, park is uh, only maybe half full, so lots of available sites. So some sites are 50 amps, some are 30 with water electric sewer, some are just water electric, so it's a mixed bag of stuff. But overall, not bad. Pretty views. I don't know if this park ever gets busy because it is a little bit out of the way, but uh, for me, this was a good stop. Laundry room is kind of small, only four washers, four dryers for a park this size. You would think it would be bigger, but uh, it is what it is, but it wasn't in use when we needed it, so it's fine. But uh, this lake is just absolutely huge. I wouldn't mind staying here for a couple of weeks, go out on a boat, go fishing, and do all that stuff. But uh, we're just passing on through because we got to get to uh, see my grandkids and then out to Vegas to see my dad, uh, see how he's doing. 
So, all right. So I give this place a thumbs up overall. Um, nothing fancy. It's got all the basics. And uh, quiet. It's quiet at night. So I like it. If you don't like rustic, then oh well. Uh, but this happens to be a Thousand Trails Park, so most of the Thousand Trails Parks are rustic. So I, I think I finally figured out what is going on. It, it, the fish are spawning, and they come up up in the, uh, in the grass and stuff to spawn. I mean, they're extremely active today. It's, they're splashing all over. I just never see anything like it. Good morning, everybody. All right, hey, so we're getting ready to pack up and leave uh, the Thousand Trails Lake Tawakoni uh, here in uh, Texas. And uh, the, the town actually name is Lake Tawakoni also. So uh, some great restaurants only down the road here a little bit. Walmart is uh, only about 20 minutes away. So it's a good place. and. Uh, uh, I like it. I would definitely come back here again and spend some more time. We are leaving a day earlier than we're supposed to um, because we're trying to move along. We added a stop on our way to Amarillo because we were looking at it and we we're saying, well, don't feel like driving eight hours from here to Amarillo. All right. So our next stop will be NRS Ranch, uh, which is a harvest host, and that's in Decatur. Texas. So uh, that should be another two and a half to three hour drive, breaking up that trip to Amarillo so we won't have such a long drive. All right, so we will catch you at the next stop. All right, until then, happy camping. Bye.